Hi, I'm Amber Hines. I'm the CEO of Equalize Digital, a certified B corporation specializing in WordPress accessibility, maker of the Accessibility Checker plugin, and lead organizer of the WordPress Accessibility Meetup. In this video, we're going to discuss elements of accessible websites. Not sure what website accessibility means? Simply put, an accessible website is a website that can be used by everyone, regardless of how they interact with the web. What you need to know is that not everyone uses a mouse or typical computer setup. Some people use only a keyboard, some use screen readers that read content on the website to them, or refreshable braille displays, or other assistive technology like eye tracking or voice to text to navigate the web. To ensure that your website works for people with disabilities, remember the acronym POOR, perceivable, operable, understandable, and robust. These four principles provide the foundation for the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, otherwise known as WCAG. Perceivable simply means that if someone is going to be able to use your website, they have to be able to perceive the content that is on the site. Many elements of website accessibility fall into this category, including having appropriate color contrast, that ensures that the text on your site is readable and stands out from the background behind it. Adding alternative text to images so that blind and low vision users receive a description of the image when they encounter it with a screen reader. Having captions on videos and transcripts for videos and audio files so that deaf or hard of hearing people don't miss out. Operable. Operable means that the user interface and navigation components of your website need to be able to be used by everyone, including people who do not navigate the web using a standard keyboard and mouse. People with motor disabilities, quadriplegia, blindness, or even extreme cases of arthritis cannot use a mouse to click through websites. Elements of operable websites include having a clear focus outline. This is an outline around elements that highlights the focus element as someone uses the tab key and shift tab to move forward and backwards through the website. Correctly labeling buttons and links that have a meaning on their own without any surrounding content. That means not using learn more or here as link text. Ensuring that your forms can be submitted and a product can be added to the cart or purchased completely using a keyboard alone and no mouse. Understandable. Understandable stands for websites that have both understandable content and also understandable functionality. Elements of an understandable website include appropriately targeted language, and a reading level typically at or below ninth grade. You really wanna make sure that this works for everyone in your audience. Breaking up long articles with headings or using headings in the correct numerical order to create a logical outline on the page. One H1, H2s following H2, and then H3s below H2s, et cetera. Never skip heading levels or go out of order. You want to provide supplemental information to explain complex graphics or articles, such as short summaries before long articles or written descriptions of charts or graphs. Using consistent font styles also helps with understandability. Colors and sizing that are consistent for different headings throughout the site can help people to connect with those headings and know what they are. Provide clear instructions for forms, tooltips where needed, and visible form labels. The last letter in the poor acronym stands for robust. Accessible websites need to be robust enough that they can be accessed on a variety of devices and with a variety of assistive technologies. Your website should utilize proper HTML semantics and best practices to display the content so that its foundation will hold up as technology from browsers to operating systems to assistive technology progresses so that the website will remain accessible to everyone over time. There are many small things to consider when making your website accessible, but when working on each element one at a time, it doesn't have to be overwhelming. There are great resources available to help you learn accessibility best practices, such as the WordPress Accessibility Meetup and other videos available in the GoDaddy Pro library. Thanks for watching this video. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. And thank you for working to make your website work for everyone.